Hi everybody, it's me, Elizabeth. How you guys doing today? So, my dumb butt, since it's Martin Luther King Jr. Today, today, today um, Salvation Army was doing 50% off the whole store and their red tags were 50% off only if they were January 14th or later. So, six hours four thrift stores, three of them Salvation Army. Let's take a look at what I found. All right, first and foremost, I would like to thank Marie Kondo for this. I found this Marc Jacobs denim jacket. Now, in my excitement, I was like, oh, Marc Jacobs! So I paid the full $15 price tag on it looking up comps for similar like this it's not looking good but I am gonna try to get a higher price for it because denim is popular again um, so yeah what's the worst that happens I break even so that was an exciting find potentially a bust oh well next on the list pardon me Okay, so I spotted this last week at Salvation Army and I didn't get it because I wasn't going to pay the full $15 for it, but it qualified for 50% off reg tab this, this week. It is the BCBG Max Azria quilted faux leather dress. I happened to spot this dress doing comps on Poshmark and I kept seeing that this dress consistently sells. So I was super excited to find it. It is a size 2 that whoops is the tag it's pretty blurry i'm sorry um side note if you are watching my haul you see something you are interested in um if i haven't listed it or if it is there um, i always share my ebay store my poshmark closet if i haven't listed it yet send me an email go to the about me section hit me an email i will sell it to you directly um yeah, so feel free to do that. The Marc Jacobs was oh, a size 6. There is the tag. Pardon my nails. All right, let's see. Got these super sparkly pink sequined Aldo heels. They are in a size doo -doo -doo -doo, eight and a half, regular width, minimal signs of wear. That'll clean up really nice. These were $8 full price, so I got them for $4. I'm definitely gonna go put these on Poshmark. They will probably look really pretty. Um, as a prop to a lot of the dresses and especially some formal dresses I'm going to be listing coming up in addition to listing them. Another pair of shoes which I got because of the price. They were a wide width and they got sparklies and denim. They are Contessa by Italian Shoemakers. The main selling point in these shoes was that they are a wide width. Got these cute little rhinestone accents, denim. Again, it's like they've never been worn. Probably throw those up maybe 30 bucks. Not sure if I'm gonna put them on eBay or Poshmark, or this might be one where I might take a small risk and cross uh, list them on both platforms. I am not going to cross list a lot of stuff on both platforms only because I do work full time um, and I work where either I am in, I work in healthcare, I might be in a patient's room, I um, might be teaching one of my outpatient classes and I run a really huge risk of something selling on both platforms and the last thing you want to do is have to cancel. So I'm going to have dedicated inventory on Poshmark. Next. All right, big bag. Oh, wait, here we go. I got this 
Banana Republic new with tags reversible sequin dress with straps and um, a little blues on front aren't aren't reversible sequins fun this is in a size zero new with tags full price this was 17 so i paid mental math 850 for it definitely gonna go over and throw this on poshmark instead of ebay hoping to get probably anywhere between 40 and 50 dollars off the top of my head for this Look at these vintage crinkle shorts, y'all. So the brand is Forenza. I don't know, but they were three bucks. They look vintage 80s or 90s. There is the tag. They're a size large. The elastic is a little worn, but they're still wearable and they have pockets. Summer is coming. I have been actively trying to source shorts and for good prices now because some of my thrift stores like to jack up the price of their seasonal mer merchandise. So the one around the corner for me when it's prom season, formal season, they start jacking the prices of all the formal dresses. So if you're new or even if you're not new, remind yourself, start sourcing stuff off season because you're going to find it cheaper. Um, and it may be winter time and when people are in the winter, they're not thinking about shorts and they might start donating a bunch of it. So always be on a look lookout off season for other stuff. Kind of like summertime. Um, you see tons of like jean donations in the summertime. Da -da -da! Free people shorts. Button fly. Cute little lace ups on the side. These are a size 24. I got them on sale for $3. These will definitely go over on Poshmark. Don't forget, Coachella tickets are already sold out, right? There's already a wait list. And the, the East Coast is buried in snow. So what are people doing when it's freezing cold? They're thinking about warmer weather. Like, oh, I bought Coachella tickets. Oh, I wonder what I should wear. They're thinking about warmer things. So definitely keep that in mind that people already bought their Coachella tickets and they're probably planning what they're going to wear. So if you've got something boho, festivally, make sure you get up and get it listed now with plenty of time for buyers to find it. All right. Yay. I was excited. I know that these aren't going to be a big, big dollar item, but I found vintage Reebok running shorts. There is the tag right there. They are a size, tag is really faded. See if I can make it out. Medium, they are a size medium. They are lined. Little bit of wear in the lining, but somebody will still love these. Probably just wear them as athleisure wear, casual wear. I only paid $3 for those. Haha. <laughs> okay, so I'm a dork. These Vigos are teens jeans. They are a size 14, but I only paid three dollars. They are new with tags. They are pink. They got the frayed hems. So it's got lots of good stuff going for you. Now, if you're ever out at the thrift and you see cutoffs, and you're really wondering if it was intentional or if somebody did it themselves. Somebody who does it themselves and doesn't know that they need to put a line of stitching under the fraying to keep it from keep going up and up and up, they're not going to do that. So take a look. There you go. You can see right there that there's a line of stitching to keep it from fraying only up until a certain point. I don't know what these are going for, but eh, I have them. Okay. Next item on the list. For one dollar, I got a kids vintage Jams World casual shirt. Jams Well sells really well. 
this is the tag it is a child's medium it's got great vibrant colors that'll probably go for probably 20 bucks but considering it's a should kid shirt i can do a flat lay quick and easy list i will take a 20 dollar bill all day long especially when very little work is involved okay so i was shocked by this vintage made in america polo ralph lauren men's jeans when i went and looked up comps a first and foremost they have almost a 100% sell through rate. And the highest sold that I saw on mobile was somebody paid over $200. And there was a few of them, it wasn't a fluke, um, for a pair of vintage dead stock ones. These have some condition issues, but for 450, I bought them. Because if anything, they will go for as little as 50 bucks. And that is easy money right there. It's got a ripped belt buckle, not belt, yeah, belt loop right there. That looks like natural distressing, which is always a bonus. Some distressing on the pockets. And it's got a ripped knee and a couple of stains, which I'm gonna treat it and try to get the stains out. So that way it's just the, the damage and not any actual stains. These are a men's, oh, where is the size? In here somewhere. I don't see the size, so I'll have to measure them and list them but here is a tag made in the usa thank you for focusing and i have a great easy method for making jean photographing jeans fast and easy i do a flat lay um, i bought one of those plastic corrugated boards from home depot cut it in half taped it together um, boom Flat surface, works perfectly for jeans. Nice, perfect white blank background. All right. I cannot leave without this jacket, and especially for the price that it was. This jacket was $4.50. It is definitely vintage 80s, possibly 90s, but more 80s based on the cut and the styling. Hold on, let me button it up. Look at this. That is black and gray stone washing. It is a cropped bomber. It's got beading, it's got appliques, dolman sleeves, band, you know, pleated cuffs. For at least 30 to 40 dollars somebody is gonna love this jacket it's got padded shoulders right i can totally see somebody buying this for me and they're like on instagram and just styling the hell out of it and rocking it hey more power to you side note i did start a pinterest board called instagram fashion realness so anything i feel like is would be very fashionable or great for photography on taking pictures on Instagram. I'm pinning that stuff right over there, man. All right, boring, but Nike Golf Tour performance pullover in an extra large. I will need to give it a quick throw it in the wash. It's got some schmutz on it. Got this for $3.50. All right, next. What's in here? What's in here? Just an Adidas golf, uh, golf or active skirt. It's a stretch knit. Very little signs of use. I paid three bucks for this. Again, even if it only goes for like 20 bucks, this is a flat way, lay. This is very quick. And for measuring, measure the waist, measure the length. Boom, that is done. All right, I picked up this scrub top for a dollar. Why? Look at it. It's got neon animal print all over it. So, throw that up. The brand is Scrub Star, which I think might actually be a decent brand of scrubs. I don't remember, but it's a dollar. Definitely throw that up. 
if you find funky looking scrubs, don't be afraid to ask for a higher price. So I sold, it was like Mardi Gras themed, right? It was purple, gold, and green. It had the, the drama and the comedy masks on it. So you're darn right. I put Mardi Gras in the title and somebody in New Orleans bought it from me. Let me see if I can find, ooh, what did I sell? I sold a Banana Republic top. You guys are good luck. Thanks. Let's see here. It was about a month ago. Let me see if I can find. Aha, wait. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's see if my phone will focus. Right there. It's kind of blurry. I'm sorry. Uh, do I have a close up? Come on. But yeah, you get the gist. And I sold that for $25 plus shipping. I only paid like two bucks for that scrub top. So I'm definitely gonna have to do some research on this, but I picked it up for a couple of reasons. Okay, for one main reason. Well, two main reasons. The price and the style of it, right? I did do a quick initial search on eBay, but there's only like two or three other jackets listed. None have sold. People are asking really high prices. Somebody called it vintage. Um, but it's got 90s grunge. 80s, 90s grunge written all over it. It's more recent. It may be 90s, authentic 90s. But look at that. You got the fishnet. You got the plaid. Um, the brand is Annalise Jacobson London. So if by all means, if you are familiar with that brand, hey, leave me a comment down below. I will continue to research it on my own. So here is the tag. Annalise Jacobson London. Yeah, but it's totally got like grunge all over it. That's not, it's a totally grunge style right there. For a dollar, I got a kid's Ralph Lauren sport casual shirt with a little full color embroidered pony over there. Hey, I will pick this up for a dollar. It is a size extra large, slim fit, 100% cotton. And it's in really good condition. It's like it's almost never been worn. It's still very crisp. So, remember how I mentioned about festival season? This is why I picked this item up. I could totally see somebody rocking this at Coachella. It's not branded. There's no tags anywhere. I paid $3 for it. Look at that beaded vest. It's got beads. It's got sequins. It's got faux pearls. It weighs almost a good full pound on its own. Look at that. Tell me you couldn't see somebody rocking this with some jean cutoffs and a bralette at Coachella. Probably, I'll probably throw this up for like 40 bucks on eBay. Because I feel like eBay would be a better market for this. Adriana Papel formal gown. It is pink. I got this. It was a red tag, so I got it for $7.50 today because it was the right date. Throw this over on Poshmark. Super cute. And then the last two things from all of my Salvation Army hauls, from all three of them. I got this Valentina blouse for three dollars got a little jaguar it's totally got some like 90s vibes some versace gucci vibes going on it's got some rhinestones on the jaguar so yeah don't know what that's gonna go for probably go on poshmark i'm pretty sure i saw that valentina does better on poshmark and my goal is to with, the, with a few exceptions, is try to find things that'll sell for at least $30 or more, find them for the right price point. Like I said about 
um, the, the score, the skirt, the kid shirt, kids clothes are super easy to list. If it'll go for 15, 10 bucks, I will definitely list it. Cause like I said, it's super easy. Okay. And then a vintage nineties, majestic San Diego Padres kids Jersey. So I decided to pick this up because I watched Slobby's world. So I figured for four bucks, I will give this a shot, see how it goes. He's talking about how majest vintage 90s Majestic and vintage champion stuff is coming back. Um, if Did you guys watch Lobbies? If you haven't, it's interesting. You can definitely get some good polos. We probably won't get as much as he did. I realize that they do probably fluff it up for the show some. But hey, he does his thing, man. I'm not going to hate on him. All right, so here is the tag... Come on, focus, focus. Thank you, ish, no. Sorry, kind of blurry. Still learning my camera. And then you can see, whoops. Maybe, there we go, made in USA. Logo down here. Baseball season is coming up again. All right, so that was my Salvation Harmony haul. And then I just have a small um, haul from Father Joe's. Oh, um, oh, I forgot the shoes. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I've got the shoes. Let's start with the two pairs of shoes that I bought first. Okay. Here's Stuart Weitzman straw raffia platform sandals. I got these for $6.95. I'll definitely go throw these up on Poshmark. I know they're an older style, so I'll probably shoot for, I'll probably try to throw them up at 70 and take no less than like 45, 50 for them because they're in really good condition. They're, it's like they've almost barely only been worn like maybe once or so. So yeah, I got those. And I only bought these because of the condition that they were in and they were a larger size and they look like they've maybe only been tried on inside of a house and they're a size 11. Michael, Michael Kors wood platform slides with silver stud accents, uh, suede panel across the foot. They were $6.95, put them over on Poshmark. Again, it's like they've almost never been worn. So, those are going to go over there. I'm so excited. I found my first Tory Burch. They're a pair of shorts, but you know what? I'll take it. I found Tory Burch for $8.95. Got some shorts. Nice little uh, checked plaid pattern. A little bit of pleating. They got pockets. Fabric is still very crisp. Again, like they've never been worn. They're a size six. Do they stretch? Yes, they stretch. Shorter, they got a cuffed hemline. Put these over on Poshmark. Probably try to get 80 for them. Give me some wiggle room to calm down. They're super cute. I wonder how much of this was Marie Kondo donations, if any. Hey, I'm not complaining because I'm finding great stuff. That oh here we go oh so uh, the Rock Thrift Store over in Point Loma now has a clearance section. Last time I was there, I was there. Anything with a little punch was ninety nine cents, but they changed it um, to fifty percent off. They have a flat rate. Dresses were three ninety five, half off of that. So I got this for two dollars. Laundry by Shelly Siegel. Nice little ship dress, sheath dress and a fun little retro style pattern. I watched, I wanna say, was it Empty Hangers? I think it was Empty Hangers. She did a video on um, the spring and summer runway trend. So I was trying to find some of the stuff that she was talking about and this really kind of looks like that vacation print, I hope. But if not, I only paid $2 for it. I see that Laundry by Sally Shegel does pretty well over on Poshmark. I will put it over on Poshmark. 
it's in really great condition it's like it's never been worn and did I, yeah size 14 no size 12 size 12 so a nice good size It'd be a great little summer dress and then a few pieces of kids stuff all right so look how adorable this is it's a little romper one piece it's nautical themed with a the little sailor it's got the little stripes it's a nice soft knit it's minimal signs of use the brand is monday's child um all the kids clothes were only a dollar i think i looked this up i think i'm going to be putting it on ebay i should probably get about 15 bucks for this little this little one piece right here maybe i'll try for 20 because i can always put like sailor in there navy in the title san diego is a huge navy town got some either 80s or 90s kids overall denim overalls and a railroad stripe with cute little um, red tack accents on it the brand is roundhouse so get a cool a good look at that that is called a railroad stripe if you did not know um so if you have any jeans or overalls with that use that that is a keyword um throw that in there that is a railroad stripe since this isn't a great name brand but they are vintage denim it's got the whole little engineer thing going on i'll probably put them up for on ebay for probably 30 bucks Oh, I forgot. I do have another, one more piece of uh, adult clothing. Some Gap cut off shorts with little uh, two-tone denim patches going on. Got some distressing. Got some frayed hems. I'll probably go through these probably on eBay. Probably put them up for like 15 bucks because it's got some cool stuff going on. So I know as a whole, um, single pieces of Carter's really don't do that well, but look at this. Not only is it rainbow print, it's got strawberry feeties. Look at that. It's got strawberry feeties. It feels like it's never been worn. And since it's a six month, the size is six months, it may never have been worn because people gift give um ladies clothes for baby showers they may not plan and think about what season the baby how old the baby will be um, if it's warm enough to wear them so if you have a pregnant friend and you're going to their baby shower you're going to give them clothes try to plan it out like are they going to be six months old when it's winter and you're giving them summer dresses then that poor little kid's never going to get to wear them when i gave my co-worker i bought her so she she would had her second um, she had a girl. It's the first girl and her grandchild in her whole family. I decided to get her some Disney onesies. Oh, hey, if you're talking about onesies, unless it's Gerber, don't use onesie. It's called ba baby one piece underwear because that's a Vero. So I plotted out. I found like a cute little Lilo and Stitch one, a little romper, and it's talking about beach bum. So I did the math. Okay, I'm like, baby's going to be blah, blah, blah. All right, this is the size I'm going to buy. So. Keep an eye out for kids' clothes, right? Because especially baby clothes. And if it's a dress, they probably wear it like once for pictures. And that's it. And people will buy expensive clothes for their kids. Got some late 90s Oshkosh denim kids overalls. A little vest back action going on. Look, look for these buttons first. Because these are the older buttons. Let's see here. Can I get it to focus? Sorry. There we go. Look for those little four-leaf clover buttons. Here's what the back looks like. Not always. And I've got some actual like 80s and 90s listed right now. These are made in China, but this is more this is a little bit older made in China tag probably get about 25 30 bucks for these little overalls all right last two pieces 
This is called Renee Rothy Baby. This may be a dud, but it's super cute and it feels like it's never been worn. Look at it. It's got a cute little lion on it. And it's got little banded yellow hems. It is a size small, zero to three months. Probably throw it up on eBay. Ten bucks. Hopefully somebody won't, thinks it's adorable enough for ten bucks. And then lastly, Aloha Republic. Little girl's Hawaiian print dress. Hawaiian print dress with Nemo's all over it. Look, it's got Nemo and other tropical fishies. And oh, look, is that a... Is that a stingray? Yep, we got a stingray. We got a turtle. We got all kinds of fishies going on here, man. Cute little sundress. The brand is Aloha Republic. It's made in Hawaii. Hundred percent cotton. Little elastic sleeves. So that's the haul. And since I actually have a few things that I haven't packaged up yet that have sold. I'm going to share a few things that I sold with you guys. So I listed this Saturday. No. Thursday. I listed it Thursday. And then it sold um, later Friday. Pacific Legend. It is a 4XL Hawaiian shirt. And it's got parrots. It's got beers. Will you focus? Thank you. Palm trees. Again, it's like it's almost never been worn. I sold it for $45 plus shipping. <laughs> and so I cannot take credit for what I'm going to tell you next. I learned it from um, the Facebook group that I'm in. I threw the keyword parrot head in there. Why? Because it's got parrots in there. And that is the slang for Jimmy Buffett fans. So, Hawaiian shirt. Got some parrots going on. <clears throat> We got a toucan as well. I forgot about toucan. Oh, we got a macaw. But hey, we got parrots. We got beers. We got cervezas. Whatever you want to call them. Be shipping that out first thing. Tomorrow, I usually ship on Saturdays, but I'm not going to lie. I was tired. I was really tired. This I finally sold. A little vintage GMC nylon nightgown about 70s in age super sheer i only paid two dollars for this it's got this nice little nylon satin yoke on it elastic waist super accommodating fit multiple sizes um, it did have some condition issues in addition to it not being a super sought after brand let me find where they were there was a lot of picking on it so I can show you what I'm talking about. So that way, if you find vintage lingerie, you need to look um, at the condition and know what to call it. Here we go. So do you see those little marks right there? Or two little marks? That's called picking, right? And there's some more there. Some more there. I did disclose all of it. That is called picking. That is not desirable in vintage nylon lingerie now if you have something like that dramatic like full sweep with a marabou trim and it's got some picking hey that is that is gonna sell right this it took a longer i finally had it on sale lowered the price um had it on sale this weekend i ran a 25 percent off sale for martin luther king and i sold it for 1875 plus shipping it's going first class so that will be shipping out i sold a vintage sewing pattern a vintage apron pattern mccall's from the 50s i got this for 50 cents at an estate sale and i sold it for ten dollars plus shipping and then well, second to last now, um, this book, Chelsea Morning, um, it's based on the song by Joni Mitchell. It was illustrated by Brian Froud. If you don't know who Brian Froud is, shame on you and go watch any Henson movie from the 80s. Uh, Labyrinth, <laughs> especially. Labyrinth is like the best movie ever. And it's got David Bowie. If you don't like David Bowie, that's okay. 
we just can't be friends and it actually came with a cd the cd is sealed it's never been used i will have to admit you know why it took me so long to sell this because i was an idiot and i was stubborn i had it priced way too high so i double checked where it's available off all platforms, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, thrift books, you name it. You need to not just check eBay, check everywhere, right? And then I lowered the price and it sold for $15 um, plus shipping. So I only paid a dollar for this book. And I'm gonna wrap it up in bubble wrap, wrap it up in cardboard, just because I counted for that in the weight. And I don't want it to get damaged in shipping because the cover is still in really good condition. Here's a couple of the images since we're here. Do, 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 do. Look at that fairy. Do you like fairies? Look at that. That's so pretty. Right? That's the whole book. Um, yeah, and I just had an auction end and waiting payment for it. I sold a Burton snow jacket. Um, I couldn't find a style. It was older. Um, hopefully they actually pay for it. Paid 10 bucks for it. Um, sold for 40 bucks. They're going to pay shipping. So there is the jacket. Sorry, I don't know how to do screen share. If you know how and you want to guide me through it, help. I'll be happy to learn. I'm new to YouTube. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, my goal is try to get a good chunk of this listed. As I said, I do work full time. If any of anybody else, if you work full time in addition to reselling and you got some pointers, help a sister out because, oh God, there's just some days I come home and I'm just so mentally fried from talking all day that I just want to zone out and not do anything. And especially if it's a day where I teach one of my classes, <laughs> standing and talking for an hour and a half with high energy can be mentally exhausting right i love what i do i love the classes that i teach don't get me wrong but it can be very mentally draining right um yeah oh what do you guys think i cut my hair i got tired of dealing with it i'm like i'm ready for a change and to be honest my hair grows like weeds so it'll grow back in no time so if i want it long again all i gotta do is just wait a little bit and it'll be there so that's it uh for today i didn't have a video um last week because my little sister turned 30 and she came out from cleveland to visit to celebrate her birthday so she was in town and a few of her friends came with her so if you'd like wish her a happy belated birthday down below in the comments if you liked my video um hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you don't like it do whatever you want I don't like drama. Um, and if you're going to comment, if you have anything mean, just don't say it, right? Go do something else. Because, to be honest, nobody's got time for that. There's so many other more important things going on. But, all right. Well, that's it. Have an update. Um, oh, real quick. I forgot. I already made my first sale on Poshmark. So I started Poshmark two weeks ago. Um, do you guys remember the Moschino and the vintage denim jacket with the faux fur collar? I sold those. I sold those within a day after I started listing over on Poshmark finally. Um, I took, got the, I was trying to, the, I was getting low balled on the Moschino that I just listed and I listed it lower because it was just plainer, right? I listed it at 45 and I was like, hey, I, you know, thanks so much. But I'm like, I just listed it. Um, I was like, I do see that you do like the jacket I have. So how about I just create a bundle? So I sold both to the same person um, for $130 after the bundle discount. And my profit after fees was $103. Yay! And I think I'm going to have my second sale. Uh, somebody put two items together in a bundle and I did the offer thing. So I'm just waiting for that. All right. That's it. I promise. All right, guys. Good night. I got to go. I got to eat. Got to shower. I have to go back to work tomorrow. I had a three-day weekend. I'm spoiled. Bye.